good morning this is a very bleary eyed just got up at emo on tuesday morning i'm gonna insert some footage from last night footage well leggage really my leg i got an insect bite and it went a bit funny i'm gonna insert that here good evening this is me on tuesday very early hours of the morning i've just been drawing around a load of red on my leg i put a plaster on that bite and when I eventually took it off, like, we got a really dark patch where the middle of the plaster was and then a really light patch there and I think that's very intriguing. I wonder if it's something to do with the heat generating because it was thicker there or something. Anyway, very interesting. It's very, very itchy. That was the plaster. I only put it on because I wanted to go for a walk and when I went out earlier, the trousers flapping against my bite was driving me demented with the itching. That's why I put that on. Right. I'm going to have another look at it now. I think it's receding a bit. Here we are. That's what it looks like this morning. So it hasn't gone over the line. I think it's receded slightly. It's still red though and it's actually quite painful. I was thinking I might go to a chemist and see if they want to have a look at it today. It's hot. I've been treating it with Fusidin. I have antibiotic <gasps> stuff. Oh, I've got an Asda delivery coming today, by the way. Coming between 12 and 1. I had some other ones, actually. It's one on my hand, but that's all right. And one on my neck. Oh, that's a flattering shot. That's all right, too. It's a little bit later now. I'm just about to have a bath. It's two hours later. And look, I can see that that is spreading down lower. And yeah, whoa, <laughs> I'm losing my balance. Look, that's where it was last night. That was about half past 12 at night. So it's there now. It's going to wash off, isn't it? Well, I'll take some photos with my phone. That's what I'll do. And I'll show that to the pharmacist then. I'll show how much it's grown and in how much time. Anyway, I'm running myself a bath. I'm going to have a hair wash. My hair is manking. It greases up so quickly, my hair does. I have to wash it every other day. But this was due a wash yesterday and I just didn't do it. <laughs> I've had my bath. I'm dressed. I've decided I'm going to put Izzy in charge of bringing in the Asda shopping when it comes in case I'm not back in time. I'm going to go to the chemist now. I was going to get all my YouTube stuff done first, have breakfast, do a nice big shopping haul for you because I know you like it with prices and all that but I can do that when I get back. I'll just ask Izzy to put the frozen stuff in the freezer and, I'll, and leave the rest of the stuff out and I'll sort it later. Um, so I've redone the leg drawing. <laughs> We're just looking like that now. You see where that little partial line is? That's where it was last night about half past midnight so it's gone that far down now. Uh, and I put the time, 11.30, that was uh, falling over again. I'm better at standing on one leg if all I'm concentrating on is standing on one leg. Right, I'm going to the chemist, let's see what they say. I'm back and I see Izzy's got the shopping in for me, good girl. This is what the pharmacist said, she said, give it another day before you go looking for oral antibiotics. Oh, there's Izzy, we can't see you, don't worry. She's emerging from the bathroom. Uh, yeah, she said wash it with salty water and take antihistamine. This is not me giving anybody medical advice, by the way, if you've got a skin infection. I know from personal experience of having witnessed it that these things can turn very nasty very quickly. You definitely need to keep an eye on them and it doesn't pay always to be blase about such things. But anyway, that's what she's told me today. So I shall keep an eye on it. So I shall keep the lines on there. And she said if it's grown by the morning, then call the GP and then look into getting some oral antibiotics. Guess who's been giving the kitchen a clean and laying all the shopping out, all of it this time. The whole reason I did this order was because I ran out of the Asda's own frozen blueberries and I like them. They're really sweet and they're tasty, but they're not too tasty. They're just delicious with yogurt in the morning. That's why I did the whole order basically. But you know, I got the other things that I needed while I was at it, but Asda specifically, I like their frozen blueberries and Morello cherries. Everywhere else I've had them from, I've been really sour and a bit of a shock to the system in the morning, but not these. So for £2.10 each, I got blueberries, two packets to keep me going so I don't have to do an Asda delivery again for a while. Morello cherries for £2 a packet, also frozen. Spaghetti bolognese ready meal, 90 pence. I got two, so those are for Izzy because I don't eat meat. For me, I got the cheese and tomato pasta, also 90 pence. I mean, that's so cheap, isn't it? I mean, in this day and age, when you're paying for the electric to cook up from scratch or gas, I mean, you couldn't make it for that, could you? <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to do some maths one day. That is so cheap. Anyway, 2 75 for some Cauldron Lincolnshire sausages. They're vegetarian, but they are not vegan because they contain egg. I'm really getting into oat milk lately and tea. I really like it. One pound for that, and that's a, a chiller cabinet one. Really good value. One pound for this natural bio yogurt, so it's got the bacteria in it, you know, the healthy gut stuff. This, 79p for all these mushrooms. I'm actually going to take 
two of these out and take them to my dad's tomorrow because that's all he wants. 75 pence for an aubergine and that's my dad as well. I got these potato cakes, two packets and they were 90 pence per packet. Moving on to the broccoli, 57p for a nice fresh looking bit of broccoli there. Crisps, these are £1.30 these Sue Brooks now, they've gone up, they used to be a pound. But anyway, while I was doing my big order, got two packets in. These are a substitution. I wanted the normal ones, but Izzy was here, I wasn't here, so they just got accepted. That's okay, they'll get eaten. But that was £1.25 for a bag, and there are six individual packets in each one. It's just handy for, you know, out and about, gigs, train travel, chuck it in your bag and you've got a snack. Um, £1.20 for three peppers, so I've got two packets. Decaf coffee, something my very local shops don't sell, so when I'm getting an online delivery or going to Tesco or Asda, I tend to just get it in, whether I've run out or not. So they were £2.25 each. So it's an Asda Zone extra special decaffeinated coffee. Also Asda Zone sensitive non-bio powder, £4.50. How many loads does that do? 45 apparently. I bet I'll leak that out because I always use less than it says. One pound for these easy peelers here at last because last time we got apples <laughs> as a substitution. Now I should have just got these in B&M to be honest but I didn't have any in and I just wanted some in for when we're grabbing and going you know in the mornings. So they were one pound fifty for five. I haven't had the soft bakes yet. These are half an expensive extravagance I must say compared to dairy milk it's well expensive. One pound eighty for one of these now so yeah i got five i accidentally got the wrong one of these i wanted the cheapest one that has to make and this is not it but these were one pound and i got three i got two bottles of the vimto and they are two pound fifty each they've gone up they were two pound not that long ago so that's quite a big increase actually i've stocked up on the pop because you know it's a pain in the backside to carry it back from the shop so this should keep us going for absolutely ages i take these to gigs in my band and um i share them with you usually it goes down a treat and saves us money buying things from the bar when we're gigging you know so three pounds 25 for eight all of them were the same price let's just work out how much that is per can 40 pence a can now that's gone up i'm sure it was about 33 or something like that not that long ago i got these toilet rolls for four pound 80 how many rolls have we got there 12 we have got coca-cola let's see if this has gone up so it's 30 cans for 11 pounds let's work that out 11 divided by 30 36 pence a can. Well, 36 and 6666 and all that, yeah. A bit over 36p a can. Got tuna, because we're getting back into eating that. These are in a little sunflower oil, so hopefully not swimming in it. Uh, three pounds for three, so works out as one pound a tin. So I've got two of those. And there's another Vimto. And that all came to 86 pounds, 61 pence. I'm going to put it all away now. But by the way, I took an antihistamine and this leg is feeling so much better. It really is. Like, I was so plagued by that devilish itching and now I am not. It's fine. So yeah, I think it made a big difference. It's come to a quarter past one. I haven't really had breakfast. I had a manky banana just before leaving for the chemist. And that's all I've eaten all day. I'm going to share these leftovers from last night with my daughter Izzy. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take half out and heat it up and save with the rest for later. And I'm going to put in some tuna and pasta possibly some pulses. I'm proper hungry for this now. Well, hello, it's the next morning. I decided to split today's vlog over two days. My leg is so much better. And yes, I am on a train. Look, there we are. Look, all that other nasty ready stuff has receded. As we went into the evening, the cytorazine I'd taken started to wear off, but I took a Puritan and again, boom, no itching. So that's been an absolute marvel. That was an eye opener. I didn't know that would work. I'm really surprised. This time yesterday, I thought I was gonna be at the GPs getting antibiotics for this. But Yay, I'm not. So here I am on the train again with all my clobber. I had the best of intentions to start this vlog off at home, but it ended up being a mad rush, as you can probably imagine. <laughs> I'm going to see my dad again today. So we must be about three weeks post-op now, I think. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as I did last time. Go meet my mum, have a cup of tea with her at her place, and then travel on to my dad's together, because that worked out really nicely last week. So we're gonna do the same thing. He's more independent. He's been to the shops on his crutches. But anyway, I have got him a few bits. Some things that he asked for and quite a few things that he didn't ask for. <laughs> There's a bit of cheese in there, a couple of mushrooms and an aubergine. Those were the only things he actually asked for, but I got a few other things. Before I forget, thank you very much to the person who sent me some money on PayPal as a, like a tip. Thank you so much. Every little bit is appreciated. So absolutely marvellous. Thank you so, so much. Also, I'm not going to upload on Friday again this week because I... I'm going to be too busy. <laughs> anyway, quality time with Duolingo for me now. I'll speak to you later.
I'm doing the same thing as last week. I'm just grabbing a snack on the go between trains. I'm just gonna grab a two pound egg and cress sandwich. That will do, that's it. Right, I'm gonna go pay and get back on the train. Well, get back on a different train. Touch the screen to start. Uh, it is sandwich o'clock, been looking forward to this. I was rather open it was going to be toilet o'clock, but the toilet is freaking out. I had to go and have a word with the guards. I pressed the open button and the door opened and it went rang, 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 as it does when it's opening. And then it just kept making the noise. It, was, it just thought it had to keep opening forever and I was standing in there trying to press the close button and it wasn't doing anything. So I thought, I should probably get out of here quick in case it decides to close and they're not open. Now the guard's having a look now. He said he'd have a look for me. I might have to hold on till I get to my mum's. But it's not too much longer. Well, he had to go. He came and said, uh, it's okay, it will close. Just got to give it a bit of a tug. Well, I tried it and I was fighting and it was going back and forth and back and forth and going round, 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 round like that. So I thought, I'm out of here. I'm going to wait till mum's. <laughs> sandwich time now and I've just had a flashback to Spain because I got a tissue out to use and it's this one I accidentally bought in Spain when we were in Yoret de Mar. I'll link that playlist at the end in case you haven't seen our holiday that we had over the Easter holidays. We accidentally bought scented ones. Oh I hate these. It's so overpowering but anyway <laughs> it's all I got. Oh can you hear that noise? Somebody's just tried to open the toilet door. <laughs> I'm watching to see what he does. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hovering in and out, getting out quick. <laughs> Nobody wants to stay in there once it starts doing that, in case they get trapped in it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Toilet sounds and a shot of a sandwich. Interesting juxtaposition. It stopped, it stopped making the noise, but then the door is open and like, yeah, he's come out. He's abandoned the, the mission as well. Mum's made me a nice cup of tea and a little cake and we'll be off again soon. We've changed venue. We've been sat outside for a bit. It's the hat. Oh, I think you need the bigger one than that. Mum has uh, managed to procure my dad an enormous beetroot from an allotment holder friend of hers and he's delighted. And they're putting it on straight away to cook. Dad's just been showing off outside on a patch of grass, walking crutch free. Very impressive. Mum's on the hoovering. I've just been outside ah, emptying it in a big bin. <laughs> How do you use a sock aid? <laughs> That's Dad asking Siri how to use this thing. He's, this is for putting your socks on, apparently. It looks a bit like a duck beak or something. Dad says it takes him half an hour to get his socks on, so it's generally not worth the hassle, but he's got them on today, especially for us. The viewers. Oh, oh really? <laughs> he's doing amazing. You can walk without crutches now, can't you? I've got you on Zoom, so the mic won't yeah. pick you up very loudly, but um, we can see you clearly. This is channel. <laughs> Ages has passed actually, we've been sitting here chatting. This is the sock aid, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, powder in it oh yeah, he's using a bit of powder. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> so the foot will slide through. Because he can't bend his leg up, he mustn't be smaller than a 90 degree angle. Or there's a risk, a bit, yeah, but not too much because there's a risk of dislocation. How are you going to get that down there then? I'm going to throw it. You're going to throw it? Well, hold on to the other end because, you know, we might not be here next time. <laughs> he's going to wear the socks out. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, it's the foot is going in. Oh, 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 oh yeah. It's getting the heel. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the, the powder is yeah. working. So it's better with talc, is it? Uh, yeah, except that's... The it. I feel like a meanie gut's not helping you. The thing is, he's got to learn to do it on his own, that's the thing. Is it? He's been sockless mostly, haven't you? Oh, it's so frustrating. I want to lean in and do right it. On the, right on the edge. <laughs> oh, it's curled over the edge. Oh, I guess yeah. that's a lesson for when you're putting it on. Do you want me to just. Um, uh, it's just is it stuck? Where the hell is it stuck? It's stuck over the back, look. Right there. 
Oh, yeah. I don't want me to flick it off and just you're really doing it with your toes. <laughs> It'd be really handy to be a chimpanzee at this point, wouldn't it? Yeah, because you'd have like a right angles big toe, wouldn't you? <laughs> I almost came. <laughs> so next time you put it on, would you do it differently now? Well, well probably. Knowing what has happened, so it's gone over the. Oh, 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 we're getting there. Oh, this reminds me of the birth of my child, actually. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mum was feeling peckish. Look, IB's apples. And, um, they're going in the pan. There's ice cream to go with that once they're stewed, you see. But they're going brown really quick, you were saying, aren't they? Oxidising yeah. like crazy. Apples always used to go brown really quickly. We used to put lemon juice on them, didn't we? But we don't do that anymore. They must be genetically they preserve them now, yeah. Or... Genetically modified or something. Yeah. And here we have some of Ivy's apples with ice cream. We'll be going soon. We'll be going down to get the train. It's about ten to eight in the evening now. I've been home a little while. The light is going in here, so you're going to get the leg update in the garden. I I don't think it's worth, so I don't know, this bit looks a little odd, doesn't it? It's starting to feel a little itchy again now because the antihistamine is beginning to wear off again. Had a nice day with my parents, it's left me with a happy glow, <laughs> as things do when you've had a nice time. I've got a busy three days ahead. I don't know how much editing I'm going to get done at all, if any. Hopefully, I'll get a vlog up on Sunday. Just keep an eye out, click the bell for a notification for it just in case it goes up late i will do my best to chip away at it but let's just say it's going to be a very busy two days the first two days i'm going to be very busy having leisure activities with my boyfriend and the following one is a work day but anyway i need to get on and edit this video because i need to tie all my loose ends up by the end of tonight but thank you so much for watching this video could you please give a like if you liked it and i'll see you in the next one bye